Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the public meeting regarding project plans on State Road A1A from north of International Speedway Boulevard to Millsap Road. My name is Marcus Lisicki, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During this presentation, we will provide information about FDOT's recommendations for enhancing safety for all users along State Road A1A in Daytona Beach. We encourage your feedback. There are multiple ways you can submit your comments and questions about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to after the meeting and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442884-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and to hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulakowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The overall project area starts in Daytona Beach and ends in Ormond Beach along State Road A1A. From north of International Speedway Boulevard, also known as US 92, to Millsap Road. Currently, State Road A1A within the project limits provides two travel lanes in each direction. Parts of the corridor have a two-way left turn lane, while other sections have a raised median separating the travel lanes. There is sidewalk on both sides of State Road A1A. In addition to repaving this segment of State Road A1A, a goal of the project is to enhance safety for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Enclosure, Engagement and deflection are speed management techniques used to encourage safer driving speeds, which improves the travel environment for all users. The image on the slide is a concept shared during the Daytona Beach Area Coalition planning effort. There are four proposed typical sections along the corridor. The typical section one begins north of International Speedway Boulevard to south of Seabreeze Boulevard. In this segment, there would be two travel lanes in each direction separated by a raised median with concrete pavers. 
the inside lanes would be 11 feet wide, while the outside lanes would be 12 feet wide. Up to four feet of concrete would be added to the sidewalks on both sides to create a usable space varying from 8 to 12 feet wide. From south of Seabreeze Boulevard to south of University Boulevard, all travel lanes would be 11 feet wide with a 7 foot wide raised median. The sidewalk on the east side of State Road A1A would be widened with concrete to create a usable space varying from 8 to 11 feet wide. Typical Section 3 is proposed from south of University Boulevard to north of Woodland Avenue and from south of Boylston Avenue to north of Boylston Avenue. This segment would provide two 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, separated by a raised median. The existing sidewalk on the west side of the road would remain. The sidewalk on the east side of State Road A1A would be widened where possible. In segment four, beginning north of Boylston Avenue to Millsap Road, the project proposes to create a two-way center bicycle track within the median and adjacent to a six foot wide sidewalk. There would be two 11 foot wide travel lanes in each direction and the existing sidewalk on both sides of the road would remain. The project proposes to enhance safety for pedestrians at 11 high pedestrian traffic locations by adding new raised mid block crossings with distinct surface characteristics and equipped with pedestrian activated signals known as rapid rectangular flashing beacons or RRFBs. The mid-block crossings are proposed at the following locations. North of Fifth Avenue, north of Kemp Street, north of Main Street, south of Earl Street, south of Aura Street, at Butler Boulevard, south of Driftwood Avenue, south of Zelda Boulevard, south of Hartford Avenue, north of Morningside Avenue, and north of Boylston Avenue. The pedestrian activated lights that are being proposed are called Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons, or RRFBs. The flashing lights give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. After pressing the warning lights button, pedestrians should look both ways before crossing and make eye contact with drivers. Pedestrians may then enter the crosswalk when motors have come to a complete stop or there is no traffic closer than a safe stopping distance. The project proposes to enhance safety for pedestrians and to help encourage safer speeds by raising the intersections at the following locations along State Road A1A. Harvey Avenue, Main Street, Auditorium Boulevard, Earl Street, Aura Street, Oak Ridge Boulevard, Seabreeze Boulevard, University Boulevard, and Seaview Avenue. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by April 3rd, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to the project. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442884-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at marcus.licki at 
D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5542 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 442884-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on the project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by April 3rd, 2023. Have a good evening.